Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. It is arguably the most memorable closing tagline in television history. I said, sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. You son of a... But for decades, it turns out we've been misled. I've just learned a terrible truth. A horrible truth. There is a little known secret about the three second clip that will forever change the way you look back at your childhood. Okay, maybe I'm being a bit over dramatic, but this recent revelation surrounding Ubu the dog did leave me searching for a spatula to scrape my jaw off the floor. Hey folks, I'm Jimmy Gaddis, welcome to Nostalgic. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the shocking truth about the Ubu Productions sign off. I hope you're prepared as I'm about to rock your world. You may not wanna hear this. That said, Time Warp, take us back to 1982. <laughs> Michael J. Fox and the cast of Family Ties arrive on NBC and eventually become a mainstay of primetime TV in the 80s. I bet we've been together for a million years. Millions of Americans would welcome the Keatons into their homes and grow especially fond of the black Labrador Retriever who appeared at the end of every episode. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. This handsome doggo belonged to Gary David Goldberg, who named his TV production company, Ubu Productions, after his beloved best friend. As for the dog, he was named after the 1896 play, Ubu Roy, by French writer Alfred Jarry. At the time, it was highly controversial, deemed offensive and obscene, causing a riot to break out among theater goers opening night. Go ahead, give it a Google. Ubu's French connection would live on in the dog of the same name. The famous photo of Ubu with a frisbee in his mouth was taken in front of the Louvre by Goldberg's then pregnant wife, Diana, while the couple was hitchhiking through Europe. So why use it as the business logo? In a 2007 interview, Goldberg told the Academy of Arts and Sciences. Actually, I just thought, you know, I want very little distance between who I was that day, you know, and who I am then and now. I just don't want a lot of distance there. So it was really nice to have that logo to always remind you who you are, you know. Like Family Ties, the logo appeared at the end of Ubu production sitcoms, including Day by Day, Brooklyn Bridge, and Spin City. But this still photo wasn't Goldberg's first choice for that tagline at the end of those shows. I had, I had originally created, uh, I, in my mind, a much more complicated thing with an animated dog sitting and then it became too expensive. So the animation was scrapped, the logo took its place, and the famous sit command was scripted. I think they hired some actor or somebody, I didn't like the way they did it. So that was my voice at the end saying, sit, Ubu, sit, good dog. Sit, Ubu, sit, good dog. Of course, there's that bark at the end, and this is where Goldberg goes on to drop a bombshell that I had not seen or heard referenced anywhere else in all of my years. Warning, this is gonna be your last chance to back out, because it turns out the bark at the end isn't from Ubu. In fact, it wasn't even from a dog. So that was my voice at the end saying, sit, Ubu, sit, good dog. And then the sound engineer barked. So that's not even Ubu's bark. It's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a man bark. And the guy just threw that in, you know? Sit, Ubu, sit, good dog. A man bark. All these years, I thought that was Ubu. Sweet, sweet Ubu. We all did, right? I know I'm not the only one. Article after article after article I found online mentions either Ubu or simply a dog barking at the end. No mention of a man. No mention of a man bark. That was a dog bark. It was supposed to be a dog bark. I now question everything. I warned you, this might be tough news to take. How are you feeling about it right now? Are you shocked? Sad? Indifferent? Let me know in the comments. Now, that good boy Ubu would end up dying in 1984, just as his popularity was beginning to take off. But in the tapestry of our memories, he shall forever remain etched, an indelible ink that time cannot erase. He will dance in the corridors of our minds, a melody that echoes through the ages. Good dog, Ubu. Good dog. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Like, really, really like it and subscribe so you won't miss out on any other super secret things from the 80s and the 90s. Wanna watch another video with some nostalgic shock value? I'm gonna highly recommend this one right here. I'm Jimmy Gaddis, thanks so much for watching and for all of the support over the eight months or so that this channel uh, has been a thing. I'll see you next time. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog.